Anthem 9, Consede Nobis, Omnipotence Deus. Welcome to Anthem 9 in my attempt to write a new choir anthem every week for a year. I'm Kevin Mulrine, and I hope you will enjoy listening to my progress throughout 2024. Please do visit website anthem52.com, follow along on x.com or Instagram at realanthem52, and send me a message to show at anthem52.com. It's exciting to have almost made it to double figures. Perhaps unwisely, I was determined this week to stick to my guns and finish something I started. I almost abandoned this anthem and started again, but ended up pushing through just to see what would happen. I chose an ancient Lenten prayer this time. Here are the Latin words and the English translation. Concede nobis, omnipotence deus, ut per annua quadragesimalis exercita, sacramente et ad intelligendum Christi proficiamus arcanum, et affectus eus digna conversatione sectemor. Pair, which translates as grant to us, Almighty God, that through the annual exercises of the Lenten sacrament, we may both make progress to understanding the mystery of Christ and follow after his compassion with a worthy conversion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This prayer has been attributed to the 5th century Pope Galatius I in what was known as the Galatian Sacramentary, created in the following couple of centuries after he died. It's a short prayer, but I thought I could evoke some of its sentiment. The shape of the resulting anthem began to form as I wrote it. Beginning with a slow introduction, I played around with the tonality and some interesting chords to create the idea of petitioning God using the opening words, Grant to us, Almighty God. Concede nobis, omnipotens Deus. I then increased the speed and movement to continue the prayer and played around with the idea of a gradually descending pattern, combined with gradually becoming quieter. It produced some interesting chords and feeling, I think. Part of the idea was to create a kind of chant which repeated phrases sung by the choir in block chords. An experiment, of course, but I'm quite pleased with how it sounds. As the original Latin prayer does not include the final sentence and Amen added in the English translation, I had to search for an appropriate Latin ending and found the simple and shorter form of Per Christum Dominum Nostrum Amen. I decided to make this ending more positive sounding than the petitions of earlier in the anthem, so the choir and organ end up with a loud closing passage. It feels like a real experiment this time, so I'm interested to know what you think. One very positive part of the week's activity was using a Logic Pro to create a sound file version of the anthem, featuring my two paid-for virtual instruments, the Epic Choir and the All Saints organ. While I'm still very much a beginner with the software, I managed to tweak the settings enough to make a decent sound, and a good deal better than Muse score is capable of producing. However, you might disagree. So, here goes.
Well, what do you think of Anthem 9? Let me know on x.com or Instagram at realanthem52. As a comment in the show notes for this week at anthem52.com or via email show at anthem52.com. I hope you'll join me next week for a new episode and a new anthem. Only 43 to go. But until then, the question remains, will I make it to Anthem 52?